Everybody, in today's video, we're doing the snow train operation. It's a new nightmare mode that a lot of people are struggling with, and if you're not really a high rating, you're not gonna have too much fun with this operation because it can be very difficult, and the different tasks that you have to do throughout the mission can be pretty confusing. So to start off right here, at the very beginning, once you kill these zombies at the start, everybody in your team has to pick up one box. You can't pick up four yourself. Every single person in your team has to pick up one, so you will need four people to do this part. Once you've picked up all four boxes, when you run over to this 10 over here, you just hit the read button and then you exit out of it if you really want to or you can listen to the journal. So the NIST part here in this train, you just have to kill all the zombies and then move on to the next checkpoint. In all the other operations, the other checkpoints are usually bigger but this one is really small so make sure all your teammates are standing inside of it. Once you've done that, a new mini boss will spawn and it's actually a polar bear. This is pretty cool. I think this is my favorite mini boss in the game now and it's fairly easy to kill if you have somebody who can take the damage. Alright, so now that you killed the boss, all you gotta do is go over to the checkpoint on a zipline and climb up the zipline. When you get on top of the zipline, there's gonna be a couple zombies that spawn. All you have to do is just wipe out the zombies and wolves that are gonna come and attack you. It's not too much, not too difficult. Okay, so once you're done killing the zombies, this is where things start to get confusing for a lot of people or a lot of teams tend to fail. So there's this giant crystal orb looking thing that you have to stand next to which gives you an energy charge and it charges through you and your teammates and you have to stand next to a power source that you need to power up in order to complete this part of the mission. So on the right side, get about three of your teammates and line up next to that power source in an even spacing and it will all connect and it will charge it up and then on the left side have one person connect over. Once you do that, just survive the whole time and you have to do it quickly because if you don't line up quick enough, then you won't charge up the towers fast enough and you will lose. Once you're all together and you're all charging up the towers, just shoot the zombies, kill it, survive. I recommend if you're not a high rating that you have a healer with you so just in case you get knocked down you can just get revived because if one person gets knocked down and they don't charge up the tower, you will lose and have to restart. Once you're done charging up the towers, you can freely move around and then you can just kill all the zombies and once you wipe up all the zombies, you will have a cutscene and then we can move on to the next part. Okay, once you're done pew pewing the zombies by the charge, you're gonna have to go over to the train parts and then pew pew more zombies. If you're high rating, you can just kill these zombies easily, but if not, there's little red things on the sides that are explosives, and you just have to shoot those down and they'll explode and kill the zombies for you. Since I am higher rating, I can pew pew the zombies very easily, and then up here a spider will spawn. You have to skill the spider very quickly if this is your first time playing this operation. When you kill it in less than 30 seconds, you get an achievement after this. So once you're done killing the spider, you just move on to the next high over here where you have to read another recording or listen to it if you want to, but you can just X out of it if you really want to. So once you've read the recording, this is the same thing as the last time with the charges, but this time it's going to be on a different part of the map, so you're going to have to line up on the train and connect to another crystal and then connect to another tower. And then on the other side of the train, there's a secret tower over there that you also have to charge up. Something that I suggest for this though, is that at the beginning of this, there is no timer. Once you fully charge one of these towers, then a 20 second timer pops up and then you have 20 seconds to charge the other tower. But what you can do is if you're strong enough, you can charge both towers at the same time and finish both of them. And then that timer won't even matter at the end. Or if you do have players who are lower rating, like I've done where I've carried people who are around 20K, 30K or 40K, what we did is we charged up the towers both to around 90% we killed all the zombies that spawn, and then we fully charged one tower to 100% and ran over to that other tower quickly before the timer ran out and charged that up to 100% within like 5 seconds because they were pre-charged. So that is another thing that you can do if you are struggling and that is a tip. 
as you can see guys, as I'm doing this right now, there's no timer. And that's because you have to charge one up and finish it to get that timer. So if you guys do struggle, charge both of them up to 90% and then wait and kill all the zombies and then charge one up and then charge the other. So now you can see that we killed all the zombies, and once we charged up one of the towers, the timer finally popped up. Luckily for us, at the same time as we charged one tower, I charged the other one, so we got two done very quickly, and all we had to do here is just kill the rest of the zombies. Alright guys, so once you are done pew pewing all the zum zums, all you gotta do next is go up to this ammo box, you know, get your ammo, and then, you know, read the thingy again. You can just exit out of it, you don't have to, unless you really want to. But, what you gotta do next is run over to the checkpoint and start the final battle. The final battle is actually pretty easy, and I think it's my favorite because of how simple but not too simple it is. There is one little mechanic about it. There will be crystals that do spawn, just like you guys had to stand next to earlier. And all you have to do is stand in between those crystals and just connect it together. And then once you do that, you won't really die unless you're not tanky enough to survive the boss. But what you can do is just stand there and pew pew with the boss because it's pretty easy. The boss doesn't do too much knocking down. He doesn't do any special seals like that. He just jumps around because he's a big old monkey. But what standing between the crystal does is it keeps you from getting frostbite so while you fight this boss you will get frostbite there's gonna be a bar at the top of your screen and once that bar fills all the way up you will lose health rapidly even somebody like me who's at 85k rating i struggled when i hit that full cap because it killed me within like 15 seconds of losing hp and it's more worth it if you just you know follow what the game wants you to do basically and you just stand in between the crystals. All you have to do is have all four of your teammates stand in between the crystals, connect it, and then you won't lose HP. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's not too difficult. It's a pretty cool boss. His moves are pretty funny. If you just stand still, he'll jump on top and you just sit on you and stuff. Nothing too complicated. Very simple boss. I feel like the whole operation itself is harder than the actual final boss because the mini bosses and all the zombies running towards you and doing a lot of damage. It's pretty difficult to like, you know, handle this a lot of damage. But this one boss, he just, he's just simple. He doesn't spawn anything. He doesn't do any crazy attacks. He just jumps on you, sits on you. There's one knockdown attack, but yeah, it's a pretty simple thing to do. So you see here, we're not standing in between and we're gaining the frostbite at the top very fast. But we're about to kill this boss, so it doesn't even matter. We're just gonna pew pew our way through and he's gonna go down that's really how you do snow train it's pretty simple pretty easy for our lower rating people i know it can be difficult but that last battle will be pretty easy for you guys once you make it through so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and good luck with this and if you make it through make sure to like and subscribe guys have a good day